All right, guys, we are back on the Minecraft server, and look what I have behind me. It is time to work in the nether. So, if we jump over here, we have our little um, nether, or our water temple farm that's getting built up. I've got all the rest of the orange clay, at least on the top ends, filled out. So we've got everything there. And I figure, let's go ahead and start doing a little design work. I'm not the greatest at design. But a couple of you guys have actually been asking for me to do design work on camera, so I figure I would do so. So we have, oh my, little lag. We have a tunnel that goes all the way down here. I'm starving already. Who knew? So this is in our temple, or our, our uh, nether area where we are trying to just make a big hub for everything that's going on. Now we are already connected to... The arena if you go this way just a little bit there's an arena down there if you go up here that's where our blaze spawner is and then if you go this way which will work on this part here if you come down here this is where you'll go to get to the water temple so i was thinking let's go ahead and dig all this stuff out and as we dig all this stuff out we'll end up turning all this into nether brick which is okay i do like me some nether brick as we just haul all this out but I was thinking because this is a water temple maybe turning this entire room right here into uh, almost like a in the nether water temple type design so we'll move towards this this will be the ground floor here's what I'm thinking I'm thinking if we put sandstone on the bottom that'll look nice there and then if we clean out I want to I want this to be exposed so the ceiling will be right there. I don't want to go yet. Let's see. Put those there. Get that up there. I'm thinking on the ceiling. Actually, we want that gone, don't we? Yeah. So we want those gone. I was also thinking on the ceiling to do that as well. I'm not 100% sure, but I wanted to show you guys at least the initial design I was thinking of. This is going to drop down. There we go good so get rid of all this i'll mine most of this off and and expand this place but then on top of that i want not only that exposed but i want the sides exposed too so go too wide yes beautiful beautiful so we'll get rid of all this over here fill in the holes i'm accidentally creating but then, so this will be here. One of the other things I was thinking of with this, I'm not sure. Yeah, I guess we'll have to mine all this out too. So we get rid of all this. Beautiful. Of course. Of course you're right there. That's just wonderful. So here's what I was thinking on this side. Let's go ahead and put these guys down. And what we'll do is we'll go probably one more higher too. Am I going to die? I'm going to die. Oh my goodness. All right. Give me two seconds. Let me regroup. And I'm all the way back over here. We're all the way back over in the Mesa. Give me a minute. Let me go get back there. Get my food. Get everything set up. One second. So mistakes were made. Unfortunately... I have regrets. If you'll notice, my levels are a little bit different. Obviously, I had just died. I went to go clear out the rest of the stuff off camera. And then I hit a lava pocket and I got a little too cocky, a little too confident. And I lost all of my stuff. And when I say all of my stuff, I mean I was holding all the prismarine and all the sandstone. So here we are. It's all gone. I want to show you guys a little bit of what, what I got to this point, but I also want to go grab some more prismarine, so I need to do that off camera. Um, but let me show you where the track leads to. So if you come over here, this is a whole nether portal. That's a, actually a water temple that I was going to do, um, but then forgot that it was right there. This is all the way over to the where we have that gold farm as well as the mob farm. So if we go back this way, 
this is the way you get to the blaze spawner it's also the arena for the wither temple no there we go so if we go this way then we'll just get back there i've laid down some bricks we need to get some more get a little nummies in our tummy bring some more so if you get over here obviously this that's where the blaze spawner is like i showed you before Still need a lot of bricks. I don't know why it's that high. I'm probably going to lower it down just a little bit when you get over here. And then this place is much more leveled out except that random brick. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to level this out a little bit more. But here's what I came up with so far. Wait, where is all this sandstone? There was sandstone here. Where'd it go? I'm so confused. So anyways, I lost all of that stuff. I need to clear this out a little bit more, get some more Prismarine, show you guys what I was doing. So let me go collect some of that. Oh, I put this on the back. Let me go grab that and I will be right back. All right, so here's what I've got design-wise. There's a couple things I wanna do with this. I'm not 100% sold on this because I haven't actually laid it out, but I wanna incorporate this gray or this orange clay. So I was thinking, let's go across like this um, so this would be on top, and then I really like the idea of incorporating the orange with the prismarine stuff, but then also just having the sand, and I guess I'm going to have to put some prismarine back here, aren't I? That's okay. So put one there, put some here, oh, there as well, and then what I was thinking beyond that is just to go ahead and put some sandstone here. The underneath texture looks different, and so it gives it a little bit more to the design as well. It's, it doesn't seem like, oh, everything is just sandstone, which is a good thing, I like that. So, uh, so this is the design I was gonna go with. I'm running out of sandstone, obviously. I actually put the sandstone all the way down there. Hello guys, you guys are just everywhere, aren't you? So I have the sandstone running the whole length of it. I do need to get some more for the top. I really kind of like that orange because it brings it in together. But this is just going to look very straight if that's all I have this whole time. So I want to make sure I have the prismarine down the side. Let's see, this high. But we need a little bit of lighting. And we need a little bit of, I guess, diversity in this design. So what I'm thinking is, let's four or five if I go that far yeah let's do that four and then that and then maybe eight so what I'm thinking is one two one and then a sea lantern and that gives us lighting and it also breaks it up a little bit and I can salvage a little bit of sandstone helps with this so i'm gonna need a lot more lanterns right now I only have seven i lost all the shards that were on me um so i'm gonna have to go farming some of the guardians with that but that's okay i still don't have any uh silk touch on me so i need to be careful with this but yeah this is the design i was thinking of going with and then i wonder if i should go six or eight but let's try let's do a little bit of design on camera for you guys that like this design, keep pushing it because I'm more of a redstone person. So if you liked this, please let me know. Otherwise, I'm just going to go back to my old ways of building in Minecraft design off camera. I do have another design episode for you guys, um, but we'll wait until we get to that point. So if we got six here, I think we can go one more. Hmm. Yeah, let's go one more, just because it's a long pathway. So we got that, and then we will go another one of these. I guess we should bring this over a little bit more. And then that. I like it. Grab the sandstone. I want to see what the hallway looks like with this full design in it so you guys can see it on camera with me. Um, and obviously, oh geez, 
obviously this is all going to be on um, the entire length of it so that's all that this design will be itself so it'll just be a quick tunnel down here no surprises it's just a simple design for the nether and it'll give you an idea of what you're getting towards because um, i think i personally like the idea of just having some indication of where you're heading as far as with the design gives you a little indication of if we're headed to the mesa then it should look like a lot of stained clay um, so same thing with this all right so for here then we can just go back Beautiful. Did we already get that one? Yes. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. <clears throat> and then here. Oops. And I have a ton more stained clay. I just have to go get it if I want to use it. I actually spent probably two hours mining this orange stained clay because I needed it for the guardian farm. That was a nice little adventure used up two picks in that process but it was worth it because i really like the design of this so i gotta extend that out obviously make this thing go all the way down i'll show you guys what that looks like here in a little bit um, but i'm liking how this looks i like this little design process now i want to have something different i was thinking i don't know if i want to do sandstone here or if i want to do a different kind of runner here so I'm going to try something off camera. Actually, you know what? I can just go grab it right now. Let's go grab it. Uh, I think it's is it diorite or andesite polished. I have a bunch of it over here. I don't know why I have all this over here. I don't think I was planning on using it for anything. Oh, I know I have it. I'm going to use it for the guardian temple. The actual design of it whenever we get the farm going. All right, let's see. If I take out all of this, see how this looks. I don't like designing with this stuff, but actually, I really like that. And it offsets with the top. It gives it a clear little path here. Actually, I think this is going to work really well. Let's try some more. And I've got a ton of this stuff. Because, like I said, I don't design with this, but I am one of those people that will hoard all this stuff. Um, if I break it, I have so much cobblestone just lying around just in case I ever need it. So I am a hoarder to the extreme, but in this kind of a situation, that's a good thing. Because now I have a ton of the stuff I can use to design with. Alright. One more. Let's see how it looks when you come down this way. I have to get rid of these zombie pigmen. Yeah, I like this. So it breaks it up just enough, gives it a little bit of an elevation with the design on the side. I really like having that in there. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to finish this off camera, guys. I will give you a peek here in just a second on what the final thing looks like. So I'll be right back. All right, guys. So I've got it finished. Got some extra stuff here. I want to do the big reveal. Here it is. I like the idea of integrating this in, and so it's not like a hard set here. So I like this kind of mentality. And then if you come in here, that's the whole line. So the entire ceiling is the sandstone with just the underside of it. So we've got the orange clay going on, prismarine, the dark prismarine, the sea lanterns. Yeah, I really like this. I had to go and fight a whole bunch of guardians just to get these blocks. I overdid it a little bit, but that's okay. So I really like this tunnel. I was thinking initially of making this have a uh, rail cart all the way down to the end, but I feel like it's overkill because it's such a short walk just to the arena right here, and then it's another short walk just to get over to here. So that's really the whole process, guys. I want to know what you guys think. Do you like the orange? Because that's a little bit of an offset. The other thing I was thinking of was... Um, we've got the prismarine bricks, but then you can just have the, the normal blocks that you get. And I have a ton of those. I could change that out on the top, but I don't have that right now. So I'm just going to leave it as is for now. But I really love the sides. I really love how it just kind of all flows together. It makes your eyes go up, which is good. 
but it's also just not one big stream that looks really boring. I love the columns on the side as well. So tell me what you guys think. Any changes I should make that will really make this pop? Also, did you guys love this design episode? Which means it's going to be a little bit shorter episode because some of the stuff I'm going to do on camera, some of the stuff I'm not going to do on camera. Got a bunch of andesite here left over. Hmm, I guess I should put this back. We still have a bunch to do over here with the farm. I'm actually probably going to do a lot of this off camera. With the next Minecraft theology, I'll do a lot of this off camera and then jump back and have you guys see what's been done. I think just slowly we will get all this done. I think the toughest part is, is I'm going to leave a big section in the middle here. So while this is here, it's probably actually going to stop. Um, I'm thinking maybe right here. So we'll leave all that water there and then actually start on the other side, bring it in this way, stop about here, and then take these sections. And so there'll just be one big square in the middle, which is where the water will be for the guardians. And then we can actually start getting this going. The hard part about this is I had to take a lot of the water temple away. So I mined a bunch of this out. Eventually it's going to be gone anyway, so that's not that big a deal. But I had to go and mine this, and it's going to be so much easier once we get the Guardian Farm going. Um, some of you guys asked about the sponges um, because I lost a bunch of them. It was because it was a glitch. We just went ahead and um, used a command to get some of the sponges back. So because it was a glitch, we thought it was okay. If it was because of a Guardian or because of lava, oh well, so sorry. But whenever it's something that's outside of our control, that's why we keep the sponges. So... Oh geez, nope, don't give me, oh now I'm down here. Okay, so I'm going to finish the rest of this off camera, probably get this entire line done, and start working actually on the other side as opposed to here. I also have to get a bunch of um, glass to finish up the sides of this. That actually is fairly easy now because if you guys saw the other episode where I was doing some cleanup work for my base... I now have a trader that will trade for lapis, and so I've got one for, for glass, I've got one for lapis, so that'll actually be a really easy process getting the blue glass over here. So I'm going to get that done too. That'll actually help me get a lot more blocks to lay a whole bunch more columns here. These columns just take up so much resources, it's amazing how much you have to use for this. So I'll take care of that. You, mister, are annoying. So I'll get that done. You even have to come under here and get these blocks as well. Um, otherwise the water flows through and then you can't use the sponges effectively. So it's a long process. But I figure you guys would be bored by that, so none of that needs to be on camera. So I'm going to finish collecting these. I'm going to go dry them out. Next episode will be a Minecraft Theology. And then after that, we have another design episode with the Let's Play. And I will see you guys then. Bye-bye. Bye. Oh. Oh. Am I going to get trapped? Where am I going? I'm lost. Oh, and I'm suffocating. Bye, guys.